I would be interested to hear your opinions on the escapism RP provides and the dangers this could have with the technology delving into virtual reality. God, what a deep, deep con... What, like, yeah, it's a podcast over here. It's an interesting question, you know, because role play is definitely... Um, yeah, like it'd be a serious escape. And yeah, it's like Black Mirror episode, right? Spoiler alert. But obviously there's the whole thing where um, people are like on their deathbeds or they're really old and they just go and live in a VR world and they can live like a young life as someone else or as a younger a younger themselves and be fine. And your brain had like has no more knowledge of it. Like I've, if you think about it, I've definitely had days where I do, I'm Tommy for more hours than I am Josh awake. Like, like if, I, if I do a 10 hour stream or nine hour stream, I have nine hours as Tommy if I get eight hours sleep, which is pretty unlikely, I'll get a six hour sleep. If you think about it, but let's say I do nine hours Josh, nine hours Tommy, six hours sleep. Or eight hours sleep. No, 18, six. Six hours sleep. Weird, isn't it? But obviously, when you're streaming, I, I, I am still Josh. So I, I stream. So if you're, just into, if, you're just, if you're just RPing only, I don't know. There's definitely, there's definitely some dodgy thing happening in your brain probably there if you, if you do it too much. And I, all, all, all I pray, lads, is that um, keep my brain alive and I can go live anywhere, mate. I'll go be Tommy somewhere and anywhere else. Keep my brain alive, please, you know? <laughs>